this is going to be a Christmas eye tutorial. So I'm just going to get straight in and do it. I'm going to start off by priming the eyes. The skin around your eyes is different to the rest of your face. So as much as it's nice to be able to use, you know, one product for several different things, it's not worth mixing up eye products um you know or trying to sort of cut corners and use the primer that you use everywhere on your eyes because the skin is just too different you're not going to get as good a result so while that's just kind of sinking in a bit i'm going to do my eyebrows i would always suggest that if you're doing something new for the first time and i look in particular two things to bear in mind do your eyes before you do the rest of your makeup and wear it out before say if you're doing you know this look for a christmas do and you're not used to wearing you know a really bold eye look then sort of try it out because it's you know it can be quite intimidating sometimes going out with a different look it's like when you have a different haircut isn't it they say it takes three days to get used to a new haircut so i think when you're doing your makeup you're doing something different you know, you do need to try it out so that when you're wearing it to the big event, the wedding, the party, whatever, you know, you can feel confident in it instead of just thinking, oh, no, it's too much. I see that a lot, you know, and people will say to me, you know, do this sort of look on me. And they're really keen for it. But then when you do it, they're like, no, it's too much. They're like, you know, shape my eyebrows for me or colour my eyebrows in. And then they find it's like a bit too much. You know, you need to... You need to give things a try. Just go to the shops or something. So I'm doing my eyebrows. I love this. It's just the quickest, easiest eyebrow product. And I think it looks a bit more natural. It's not so false. It's not so sort of drawn on. But I do, as you saw, short, sharp strokes. And then I do make like sort of a, a block and then use the spoolie on the end to comb through and it does the blending for you so this is a brilliant product it's really quick and that will stay in place all day so you want to do your eyebrows because that helps to sort of sort of lay down the landmarks for where you want your eyeshadow to go so when you are doing your eye makeup there's a couple of things you need to sort of bear in mind and it's this line that would ideally be so from your nose to the corner of your eye and out that should be where your eyebrow ideally ends and you don't want to come past this line with your eyeshadow because it can sort of make the eyes look a bit droopy or a bit sort of lowered so that's where you do your eyebrows first so i'm going to just go straight in with the splurge because it's a cream it's more of a mousse really um, I'm not going to put any powder down first. I've put the primer down, so that would have sort of. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm making sure it's rubbed in. That would have evened out the skin tone. But these are so pigmented that you wouldn't need to uh, put down like a skin coloured powder because it's, sh you know, it won't shine through. Even if you're really discoloured, it won't shine through these. So I'm going to do a really sort of classic Christmas look with these three splurges so you've got elegance uh, extravagance and assertive the best way to apply these is with the cream shadow brush so they're like a more densely packed brush but they're quite firm I'm going to look into my mirror here and actually that is too much this goes a really long way take half of that off so you just pack this on because I've got hooded eyes I will often stop and look straight into my mirror because some of the eyeshadow so i'm putting this on here and i don't know if you can see hopefully you can i've put shadow all the way up to there but when i open my eyes it's lost you can only see up to here the rest is lost in that fold so that's why i like to keep opening them to make sure that when my eye is open the color is still visible 
So I have to go quite high, which looks kind of crazy. But then when my eyes are open, it all makes sense. And I always tend to go from one eye to the other, just so we, you can keep it as even as possible. So they're using quite a dense brush, it's still really blendable. So I go about half the way in with that first one and then I flip the brush over and I'll go in with the second one. Again, these are so pigmented, I'm just trying to get a really small amount. Just a tiny amount. Again, you're just patting that in. Can hear my dog snoring behind me. If you can see that there's some bits crumbling down, I've had these for ages, for months, and they're still going strong. But if they dry out a little bit and you just get those odd bits crumbling down, they'll just knock off. And what that is, it's the bits around the edge where I've been wiping the brush. So if you find that yours has started to crumble a little bit like that just keep putting that on wipe the rim and just use the stuff in the middle you can always check in that with the eyes open still visible so onto this one i love 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 this i got this one when i was going to be cruella deville I'm thinking of that line, sort of got it in my memory where that goes. You do it like you would any other with a smoky eye. You don't want it to be too much of a harsh line. As you can see, this is so pigmented. I'm going to do, this is one of my favourite blending brushes. I'm just going to go around the outside. Because I just want to blur that really harsh line there. There's a little bit over here. I want to smooth it out because there was a little bit of a thicker bit there but I didn't want to smear it so you can just take a finger and just gently pat I'm going to go on the other side take a bit less this time because I've hardly used this one it's a bit of a guess normally I can just take it from the side of the pot and keep stopping to even it up with the other eye and you'll naturally have one eye that you tend to favour doing first for me it's I always do this eye first I don't know why so when I'm putting this on I'm constantly stopping to make sure that I'm evening them up again get this one Don't want any harsh lines. Now 
Now I like that, but I want a bit more gold. So let's bust that one out again. And take a small bit and just put some more gold in the middle. And you can do this with any colour combination. And I'm patting more in sort of a dome shape, just so I don't want any harsh lines. I don't want three really defined spots. Or sections, I should say. And this is definitely one to practice because these are so pigmented. If you're using a darker colour, like the green I've used, You'll probably need to practice so I'm happy with those to soften the edge I'm going to use a pigment these pale pigments are beautiful as highlighters so I'm going to use it to let me get another soft brush this is a brilliant brush actually because it's got a soft end and a dense end so that's ideal for doing your brows or for doing eyeliner, but you can also use that as a splurge because it's so dense. But I'm going to take the fluffy end, I've knocked some into the pot there, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to have to get a different mirror because my eyesight isn't the best. That one there was a bit too far away, but I'll try and do it so you can still see what I'm doing. I'm just going to soften the outside edge. No, I've been a fool. I used that on a dark colour. So I don't know if you can see that it's a bit dark there. Let me get another one. Do the same again using that same highlighter shade just to soften the edges and blur out the sort of blend out the cream shadow. Now that's loads better. That's got like a green tinge to it. Damn it. Now this is why you want to do your eye makeup first. I'm just going to go straight in with a wipe and take that off. So I've just got my finger in there, but you can put a cotton pad, not a cotton pad, a cotton bud, so you get a really like um kind of really precise point so you're only taking off the bit that you want to there we go make sure I pick up the right brush this time how daft but see that's the beauty of makeup you make a mistake you wipe it off and you carry on so that has blended out the cream and just added a nice little highlight. I love these pigments. So I'm I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. To do the wing, so I think a, a bowl to look like this, you've got to have a wing. I'm going to use my unique, oh good, my unique one. And it's like a felt tip pen, but I had this in my handbag. This is one of those products that you need to use it properly to get the most out of it. So it needs to be kept with the lid on and the nib down. But mine's been like that all night. So I'm going to go for gold, but it may not it may not work so well. Now, the, re the reason I favour this for a wing is because I like to do a dot technique. And what I do, I have to get up close again, is... Again, I'm thinking about that line and I'm dotting just a really small dot where I want the point to end. And then I do another dot along this crease, this natural fold of my eye, do a dot along there to determine how thick I want the wing to be. And then I just connect the dots to the very end 
of my lash line. And if your dot is too big to be the very end point, then you just go past it. But you can see this. And then connect. You see where I've got a triangle there. And looking straight on, I'll fill it in so you can see better. It's a bit more tricky when I've got a dark shadow on. But what I'm doing is I'm just landmarking my mind went blank there how that flick is gonna sit when my eyes are open it's a bit tricky because i've got these hooded eyes and then what you can do then is you can pull it tight and just fill it in so i'm back on this mirror now And I've just filled in that triangle. And what I'll do now is I'll do the rest of the eye. With these as well, you need to stop every now and again and wipe the um, wipe the product off because eyeshadow will be building up on it. Oh gosh, you probably won't be able to see because I'm so close to my mirror. But what I'm doing is short strokes like this. And I'm not relying on my lashes to guide me. Sometimes the, um, the temptation is to kind of rest the pen or whatever kind of nib it is, the pencil, whatever, on the lashes to guide you. But that's not really a good idea because that's not a straight line. And if you're like me... I've got sometimes like two lashes like that and one there and it's like a jagged line so it's not the best way to get a smooth line. Try to go just above that and then you can fill in the, the difference between the line and your lashes like that. I hope that makes sense. So, can you see that? Constantly stopping, wiping off. And just checking that it's all sitting how I want it to be, just a smooth flick. And it goes across that crease so that when my eyes are open, it looks how I want it to look. So I'm happy with that. I move on to the other eye and I'll try and go as quick as I can. And again, I normally go dot, 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 dot. So that I like to go from eye to eye to make sure that it's all even. I can see this is getting a long video now. So I do this really quick. This eye is even trickier because there's actually two folds there and there. So I need to pull this taut because of that line. Lovely. Right. I'm happy with that. And oftentimes what I'll do is I've drawn it on with this and I've got my lines and my wings how I want them. But then I'll go over with like um, a liquid in a little pot because that just gives a bolder look. You can get it with these, but it, over a really dark, creamy shadow like this, it will just take a bit of building up. So I would either use a liquid in a little pot like... Oh, sorry, boys. That won't come up like that. Or I'll just keep going. 
the last thing is lashes i'll do this really quick now so always 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 curl those lashes and i'm going to use our fiber lash mascara i like false lashes on other people and i can put them on other people fine i just can't oh, don't like putting them on myself so i warm these up in my bra gel fibers have them open and then you just apply this like you would mascara and that very handily has picked up a little bit of eyeshadow there for me so you coat that well and then with the fibers you go from the middle out so just onto the ends just on the bit of the lashes that you've curled up you don't want to be going all the way into the lash line with these because that's when it's likely to get into your eyes just let that sit for a minute go on to the other eye I'm just going to do one because this is really long now I just want to show you the importance of good lashes when you've got a bold look going on and you can see some have fallen down don't worry about that and you may even get fibres going onto the eyeshadow again don't worry about that so you go gel fibers gel and keep keep going until you've got the look that you want give them a bit of a wiggle really get those fibres on I'm going to let them sit there just for a second so you've got a few fibres just take a really soft brush and you see it doesn't mess anything up it just knocks them off you don't get pandemised with these even if you find during the day if ever some have fallen down oh blimey look what I've done they won't have any product on, they're just dry fibres, you just knock them off. And if you do that, you're daft. And then I get that same brush that I used earlier. I'll just disguise that. Lovely, so, got some nice lashes. We've got our nice bold Christmas look. And the last thing, red lip. So at this point, normally I would do the other eye, I'd put, I only had a really thin layer of foundation on. I would go in there with some more foundation to set it, contour, blush, a bit of highlight, but I'm going to go straight onto this. is primal So you could leave it at that, put a bit of glass on, or go in with our lovely pillar box red splash. And you line first because these the applicator brings a lot of product out and they're just not as precise as a nice sharpened pencil and it gives it something to adhere to as well and the pencils last all night so even if this wipes off that won't fail you so there you go Christmassy look eyes eyeliner lashes and lips and then just go in complete it with your normal blusher um, blusher High, uh, contour highlights and foundation concealer so this has been so long but um
takes a bit of a uh, takes a bit of doing a bold look like this but it's worth it this will last all night and get you in the festive spirit merry christmas guys bye from me and my dogs oh where are they there